moderation and mediation are concepts that are associated with a relationship of three variables. These concepts are very common in empirical research and management and moderation and mediation models are typically estimated using regression analysis. Let's take a look at what moderation and mediation are. Mediation basically refers to a scenario where the effect of one variable x on another variable y goes through a third variable m. So we are saying that the effect of x is mediated by y. So the causality goes from x to m, from m to y. For example, studying causes learning, learning causes uh, increased performance on the final exam. So uh, mediation is about mechanisms and singleton traits use the term intervening variable. So it's a variable that sits in the middle. If x does not cause, if x causes m and m causes y, then if for some reason the level of m would not change, if any would change x, then y would not occur. For example, if you study but you don't learn, then you can't expect to perform well. So studying must lead to learning, learning leads to a performing well on the exam. Moderation on the other hand refers to a scenario where a third variable determines the strength of association between two variables. For example, if x is uh, the amount of, of weight training that you do and y is the amount of, of gains that you have in muscle mass, then the mediator could be the amount of, of eating that you do. If you train and you eat a lot, you gain muscle. If you train equally much, but you don't eat as much, then your muscle gains will not be as large. So mediation model, moderation models are useful for studying contexts. So we can do these moderation models to understand under which conditions something happens and also what determines the strength of effects. Are there any contextual factors? Let's take a look at how these are estimated in the context of regression analysis. So our first example is Heckman's paper and Heckman is studying a moderation model. So moderation model, let, this is one moderation effect, their hypothesis 3a, they are saying that because of, of our customer racial or gender bias, women or minorities are rewarded less for performance than are our white men. So the effect of service provider performance is assumed to be positive on a rating of employees, but that positive relationship is assumed to be less for women and minorities compared to white men. So this is moderation. And how do we do moderation in regression analysis? So the idea of moderation was that the regression coefficient of x beta 1 here depends on the value of m. So we can say that the, the regression coefficient beta 1 is actually a function of beta m1, beta m2 multiplied by m. So it depends on m. It's not a constant value that is same for everybody. We can do a little bit of math and we plug in the, the second equation in place of beta 1. We get that kind of equation and we, we simplify it a bit by eliminating the parentheses. And we can see that moderation can be studied by doing these interaction models. So interaction refers to multiplying two things together. So we have x, the main interesting variable, here quality, m, the moderator, here gender or uh, minority race. As the moderator, we multiply them together and then we can see if uh, the race or gender has an effect on how well, how much a person is, is uh, rewarded for being high quality doctor. And here are the interaction terms. We can see in the model of two that female are rewarded less for being high quality. So the overall effect of quality is uh, positive, but women are rewarded less than men. So this is how the table would be interpreted. In practice, interpreting uh, the magnitude of these effects is, is uh, difficult because they are interactions so people will do plottings. In Heckman's paper, they have these four plots. So they show that, well, this is how the regression lines would go. This is the line for male, this is for female, this is for white, this is for non-whites. And they found something really interesting. They found that actually, if you are non-white, then uh, if you get better, you get more productive, then you're actually penalized in the customer satisfaction scores. 
they explain that in the paper and that is an unexpected finding. I'm 100% sure that this is actually just an analysis error. What actually is this, the, the, what kind of error it is, it's beyond the scope of, of this um, video. But basically uh, the right results would be that all the lines go up, but the slope or, or how steeply the line goes up for women and minorities is less than it goes up for men. So this is uh, moderation. Let's take a look at medias. And on our example article, Baron and Tang, they have a hypothesis or multiple hypotheses. One of them is hypothesis three, and then hypothesis three A is uh, simply a, a more precise variant of, of hypothesis three. So they're basically saying that entrepreneurs with good social skills are better at collect at, at gathering ess essential resources, and if you have more essential resources, then that allows your venture to perform better. So there is a uh, the mechanism through which social skills. Uh, allow an entrepreneur to venture to perform better is that social skills allow you to uh, get more resources and those resources are the ones that affect performance not the social skills per se. How is this kind of uh, model tested with regression analysis? We have this uh, very simple approach consisting of free regression analysis introduced by Barron and Kenny and this is known as Barron and Kenny method or causal steps method. So the idea at first is that we regress y on x to see if there is a causal effect of x on y th that can be mediated. Then we regress m on, on x. So we uh, regress the mediator on the first independent variable. And then we regress both uh, y on the mediator and the, uh, the original variable. If we, uh, we, we ideally want to show that x influences m and m influences y, but not necessarily that x influences y when we control for values of m. We can see these three models, three steps here. So the model number three is the first step. It is uh, sales, which is the y variable, regressed on, on all the in interesting variables and controls, except for the mediator variables, which are two in this case. Then we have model two, which is step number two, that is resource acquisition, a mediator variable, and then we have model three, where we regress the final dependent variable on the mediators and the original x variable. And then we simplify, uh, simply multiply the regression coefficients together to get the mediation effect. So mediation involves testing a series of regression analysis. There are of course other techniques for testing mediation, but this is the simplest one. Mediation can be of two different kinds if there is mediation. There is full mediation and partial mediation. Full mediation means that after we control for the mediator, in this case re, uh, resource acquisition, there is no effect on expressiveness. So if there is a, a very expressive entrepreneur, if that expressiveness does not translate into better uh, resource acquisition skills, then there is no effect on the employment. To uh, use another example, if a person studies really, really hard, but does not learn anything, then they will not perform well in an exam because learning is a mediator between studying and performing in an exam. If we look at the actual regression results, we can see the full uh, mediation and partial mediation evidence here. So um, this is partial mediation. We can see that the effect of expressiveness here persists in model five, which contains the original variables and the mediator. I have left out the controls just to simplify the table a bit. And then we'll, when we look at this full mediation here, we can see that uh, the effect of expressiveness is non-significant on growth, employment growth rate after we control for the, uh, the mediator. So the effect, if we hold the mediator in a constant, then uh, increasing expressiveness does not make a difference. Okay, to summarize, mediation and moderation are two ways of uh, analyzing relationships that are about three variables. Mediation is the study of mechanism. Is there a variable that sits in between? That is a, a step in the causal path from X to Y and that allows us to study mechanisms. Singleton and Straits use the term intervening variable for this kind of models. Then we have moderation and moderation means that the effect of X and Y depends on the third variable. This kind of model is useful because it allows us to st study context. 
When does an effect occur? When does it not occur? 